guys so today's video is a Nordstrom haul so I went a little bit crazy at Nordstrom but that was because I have been in such a purging mode so I've gone through my closet and I have like a whole pile of stuff that I'm getting rid of um, either donating it or selling it um, I'll put my Poshmark account because I'm thinking that's where I'll start listing things so if you're interested you can head over there a lot of it is stuff with tags on it still um, so I'm just if it doesn't make me excited or make me feel happy um, I decided I was gonna get rid of it so I kind of like narrowed down my wardrobe a little bit and I just wanted to start focusing on buying key pieces of like quality items so I picked up a few things that I thought would go nice with my pre-existing wardrobe just to kind of get ready for spring not really so much summer I would say more spring so I picked up some clothing items and accessories and then I also picked up a few new makeup products because again I feel like kind of the same way um, with makeup even though I haven't been purging too much of that but I think I might do that as well um, I'm not sure how people feel about buying makeup on Poshmark but I might be I might list some stuff on there as well but I don't know I think my skin has been just extra dull and just the changing of the weather and everything that and I've been breaking out more so I just wanted to do a little bit lighter brighter makeup and um, I'm just gonna get right into it I'll start with makeup in case that's kind of more what you're interested in versus All the fashion. Chanel makeup for the most part yes so I'll start with um, face I guess this is LeBlanc de Chanel um, and this is just a sheer illuminating base so essentially a primer and you get a f one fluid ounce of product and if I can get it out um, I just like the idea to brighten up my face and this is really gonna like blank your um, blank everything out so it gives you a really nice bright canvas to work with so I picked that up I haven't tried it out yet I'm always just nervous about new products breaking me out um, I have been breaking out recently and I think it might be because I've been using my bare minerals again so I don't know if um, the powder something something with powder is absorbing into my skin I'm not really sure so um, I want to try this stuff out and I'll let you guys know if that um, makes me break out I guess even worse so um, to go along with the primer I picked up the Vita Lumiere Aqua um, this is just like an ultra light skin perfecting sunscreen makeup and I got it in the color 30 beige so this is I saw this so long ago probably when I first started watching YouTube with um, Fleur I think her name is and she was from like the UK and she had drier skin and she like swore by this and I haven't like watched I don't think I've watched too many of her videos like since so I don't know if she still uses it or not but um, it's just a really light this is like the foundation that you have to like really shake because it's very liquidy and I think they advise you to put this on with your hands but that just eeks me creeps me out I can't do it so um, I was gonna buy the Chanel uh, foundation brush but it just looked too kind of like stiff and firm to me and if you have dry skin I just kind of feel like that pushes your dead skin cells around and it doesn't leave a nice finish for your foundation so I was in Ulta and I picked up the it for cosm or it cosmetics for Ulta velvet luxe brush this is the buffing foundation brush number 301 and again it comes in that really nice packaging I bought I think it was my last haul my last Ulta haul I had picked up the eyeliner brush in the same velvet luxe line and I'm like obsessed with it like such a nice line um, I just love how like the handle is it just has a really nice weight to it but anyways it's more of a kabuki brush but it's not super dense and it's very 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 soft so I was gonna pair these together and see how that goes um, again I haven't tried that out yet so hopefully in theory it sounds like it will work but you never know and so since I still feel like my face is very dull that I am um, trying to I figure blush is a great way to kind of liven your face up so I picked up by Chanel this is their blush and it's number 76 free bowl I believe and I think this is just such a beautiful color especially for spring and summer um, it is just very it looks pretty orange it is pretty orange um, 
but I have it on very lightly today. I don't know if you could probably tell, but it just gives a really nice kind of just like pop of color. Um, nothing not intense at all. Just a really nice kind of flush to your skin to make you look a little bit more alive. And I was really attracted to this color because I follow Olivia Munn, I think, on Instagram. And her makeup has been like so perfect lately. Like it's been like a bright lip and her lip matches her cheek and it's just like very dewy and healthy looking. So I immediately thought of her when I saw this color and I really have, uh, I want to try to mix the whole um, matching your lipstick to your blush thing. And I have a Urban Decay lipstick in this color. I can't remember what it's called. Streak maybe? No, I don't think that's right. I don't know, but I'll list that down below because it looks like a really pretty combination, especially again for spring and summer. So I picked up two lip products as well. Um, this is the Rouge Allure Velvet. It's a luminous matte lipstick by Chanel and this is in the color 53 La Mysterious. Probably not pronouncing that right, but these are probably my favorite lipstick formulas like ever, by far. Beats every lipstick I think I own. These, I have another one, I have like a beige one, so it's kind of nice that this one's darker, so I kind of have both ends of the, the spectrum, but that's what it looks like. These stay on for so long, and they just dry really pretty on the lip. It doesn't like emphasize your like lip wrinkles or anything like that. Um, just a like really, really nice formula, and it almost feels like almost feels like it has like a film on your lips but nothing like that's gonna like make you feel gross or like make you feel like you need to get it off your lips it's just it's really nice and then I also picked up a glossomer and this is in 119 wild rose this is like the color of my lips so it's just super easy to just throw on and it makes your lips look a little bit more full and shiny but not like glittery shiny just like really um it's healthy and pretty I don't know I'm obsessed with this right now and I'm sure this over that lip uh, lipstick would be a beautiful combination as well but again glossomers are probably my favorite lip gloss formulas so I would highly recommend trying I guess any color in either of these formulas because they're just on to like perfection. accessories and shoes so I've been really um, wanting a lot of new kind of bralettes so I, I don't know, I've been like loving not wearing, because I don't have to wear like a bra underneath the bralettes or anything like that because I am small chested. So it's really nice and cozy and I just think they look great under tank tops. So I picked up this one by Free People and it's just a lace bandeau, but I really like it because it goes more um, down your rib cage. So these are great for like any tank tops that have like a very, um, wide kind of space under the armpit so like a like a boyfriend cutoff kind of tank so i picked up that one and then i also got just another black lace bralette and this one is by be tempted which i think is more of a junior kind of brand at nordstrom and it's just very plain but again just really cute for under a tank top and then i wanted a nude one so this is by hanky panky and i love I love Hanky Panky. I've loved that brand since high school. I think a lot of their products are like lace, but it's lace that really holds up. Like compared to like if you buy lace anything from Victoria's Secret, it's probably going to be like trash in like so many washes. Whereas I have undergarments from Hanky Panky for like years upon years and they're still in perfect condition. So um, I'll probably get more colors of the, this kind and it has a little bit of padding in it as well. And um, I don't know, I think they're, I don't know if it's anything, I don't think they're called anything special. Um, I think Chai's the color, not the brand, but that's what that looks like. Um, again, it's just like, they're so comfy and so cute and I would highly recommend definitely also, picking up. I picked up a new one. scarf. I don't have any all black scarves. I put it on a hanger to see if, I don't know, I hope you can see that. So it's just like a super big scarf and just nice to like wrap around and put on top of anything. I probably could have worn it today, but um, this is by the brand Hinge. 
you can see that. I don't know, but I've been really enjoying it. It goes with a lot of things. So one necklace. I'm Super. really, I think since high school, I've honestly been trying to like work on my accessory game, but I really just like very simple, dainty jewelry. Um, I have my eye on a lot of stuff from Etsy, a lot of um, different chain necklaces, but I picked this one up at Nordstrom if it wants to come out. This is by the Dog Eared brand. I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, but I'm pretty sure it's like a popular brand because like, a lot of their jewelry has like it has like some kind of symbol on it so like you know something could be like I mean ha happiness or sympathy I don't know like they each have like a theme in a way so this one is faith and it just is uh, on a sterling silver chain and it's just like a little cross and I don't know I just thought some days are worse than others so I don't know I thought that was just like a cute way of like a simple reminder to have kind of like hope and faith and everything and that everything will turn out the way it should so I picked that up um, and then these are like super duper random but like changing your life if you have them if you have this problem so I feel like my shoes always hurt my feet my feet are like so sensitive so I picked up there um, a four pack of foot pedals and you receive let me get these out two sets of each so you get you didn't want to come out you get two sets of the ball of foot cushion and I've had these before and these are really good um, even if you buy a shoe that's maybe a pinch too big for you but you know if you go down a size it'll be like way too small and like hurt your feet these will fill up a little bit of that room in your shoe so they'll fit a lot better and they're obviously a lot more comfortable so I got two of those in this pack and then these were really what I was after these are the back of heel cushions and if you have flats that like start cutting into your ankle and like making you bleed which always happens to me no matter what get these game changer like you will not have to return those shoes they will just like hair make shoes your life so from dolce vita which is a brand that i really like when it comes to shoes they always fit like true to size and these are the jagger booties which i know have been around for a while but i just love them because they have that kind of like country western kind of flair to them definitely by like the toe but they're not like so they're not like totally out there country or boho i don't know i just think you can dress them up and dress them down you can go with jeans or dresses it's perfect it has a low enough heel so they're easy to walk in but still they give you a little bit of height and make you know your legs look a little bit better but um and i like the zipper details so. just a couple of perfect. new clothing items and i'll be sure to list everything below so if you're interested in picking these up you can um this is a tank top just by top shop again dark heathered gray um and it's just super simple it's just like an oversized boyfriend top and again with like the bigger armholes that it's really cute with the bralette and it's just a really soft material and super simple and easy to just throw on with jeans or shorts and then I picked up by Madewell a long sleeve top and it's just kind of like a black and white striped and I don't know I think it's perfect for me because I can wear it with jeans if I want to and I can wear it to work really easy with like a pair of suit pants and I have worn it already that's why it looks like super wrinkly because I need to wash it but I've been really kind of getting into the whole Madewell brand um, I think they're very like simple and basic and that's like exactly my style in a way um so that was really cute and then I picked up a dress which I pretty much am like I love yoga pants and jeans on like my off days I guess and then uh, for work I always just wear like a pair of black suit pants which is so boring but like being younger in a professional setting it's really hard I think to find like cute work clothes that don't make you look like old and for a while I really just didn't care and I was just kind of like buying whatever because it was like acceptable but now I am really trying to like step it up it's like that's what I'm wearing for like four days a week it's like that kind of business stuff because on Fridays I can wear jeans but so for four days out of the week I, I'm really trying to like step it up so I picked up this dress and it's by Ivanka Trump which her clothing line is like geared towards more like young professionals so not, not that I like like a vast majority of it but some of it's cute and I really do like this pattern if I go for like a pattern it's usually like 
this kind of weird florally pattern. I don't know. It's like curtains from the 70s in a way, but like cool. So it has a three quarter length sleeve and it hits like probably like a couple inches above your knee and it's just like a really nice jersey material. So if you have to travel for work or anything like that, this is like easy to pack. Um, it comes with like a little belt that you can tie around your waist, but I don't know. I'm not super into like the fabric belts, so I might just like, you know, use my own. It's a very versatile dress and uh, okay, I don't know. So that's everything that, that I cute. picked up at Nordstrom. If you are interested in seeing more fashion videos, please let me know below in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!